Independence Hall going for a scoot. And today, we're getting back down the mean streets of Philadelphia. We're going down Arch Street, I think. We're gonna be zigzagging through Center City. Look at these people. Guys, it's just a bell with a crack in it. Um, the, uh, the Liberty Bell, uh, the, 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 the reason why there's a line is because you have to go through a metal detector. And the reason why you have to go through a metal detector at the Liberty Bell is because back in like 2001, this is either right before September 11th or right after September 11th. So it really didn't make a big news story. Some lunatic bash. Yeah, you wait, hon, that's a green. I'm a human being. <laughs> um, some, uh, some maniac bashed the Liberty Bell with a hammer. And uh, so now you got to go through a metal detector. Look at this. These people, they're waiting to hop on the bus. This is like a bus stop. You take a, a bus here, you can go to New York City, Washington, D.C. Uh, I don't know where else you would want to go. I mean, not by bus. Or maybe. I, I did it two years ago. I went to New York via bus. This is the federal courthouse. Uh... I used to deliver suits down here in, in uh, Center City. And uh, I used to have to deliver suits to a judge who worked in that courthouse. And it would take me an hour to deliver the suit because I had to go through a metal detector and the garment bags had to go through a metal detector. And that, it was crazy. Um, I didn't mind because I was getting paid, but I'm sure my boss cared. I don't know, but fuck them, right? That's what I say. This is the old Lit Brother building. If you see, oh, up in the corner it says hats trimmed free of charge. Uh, what that is back in the, oh, see right there, even got it on our little bike racks. Hats trimmed free of charge. Um, Back in the day, if you uh, bought a hat, and we, everybody used to wear hats up until the JFK inauguration, uh, you know, you would get that little piece of ribbon tied around your hat. Maybe you want a feather. Maybe you want whatever, whatever you want. There's a, there, it's a land of imagination when it comes to hat trimming. And uh, they would trim your hat for free. This is federal prison. So... You know, I don't know how many people look at the look at this street though. This street's awesome. Look at that. That's a pretty cool little bridge. Um, so yeah, just know whenever you're visiting the Liberty Bell, there are prisoners <laughs> uh, right here, uh, four, two blocks away. Right there, that building. That's the Federal Reserve. I don't really understand how money works. I think money, I think, there he is. There we go, that guy is not annoying with his bike on the pavement, jerk off douche. You can't, you can't have a rubber ducky be a jerk off douche when you're riding on the pavement. Um, the Federal Reserve, those, that's, they hold our money for us? Not really sure how the Federal, but yeah, I think money's imaginary. I hear, I, I, Mrs. Captain says it all the time. Uh, this is the African American Museum of Philadelphia. Tells the histories of America, African Americans uh, across the uh, the beginning of the United States. Um, this would be the most controversial thing I ever say. It's, it's, it, this museum needs an upgrade. It needs it needs a, a modern approach. It's not it's not a very good museum. Uh, these are the Whispering Bells of Freedom for Cyprus Atticus who was killed by British British troops uh, during, oh, what was the battle, what was the battle? And he was killed in Boston by British troops. And, oh, I forget, damn it. All right. There we go, the cast iron, though, look at this. What's going on here? Who knows, let's go down. I don't think I've ever been down this little thing. Oh, let's go. Oh, barricades. Look 
at all these flags. Oh, oh, you hear the prisoners? They're in the yard. Yeah, really, that's really what that was. I was joking, but no, that's really what that was. Oh, you want to see this? This is probably the most despised building in the city of Philadelphia. It's right here. Look at this. The parking authority. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, these assholes write tickets for everything. They're a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, the red light cameras. Yep. I, um, if you, they have certain intersections in Philadelphia where if you go past a red light, they take a picture of your plate, you get a ticket. And then there's a new one they get to do. They have speed enforcement on the Roosevelt Boulevard. They, uh, if you go 10 miles over the speed limit, they take a picture and uh, they, they get the money. They, they are not run by the city. They're, they're, it's a private organization. And they, they I, I, I think... You know they have a job to do um but i think they they uh hurt the city more than uh i don't know they're just assholes and this is one of the things like these here are, are like chairs um and i think they're also to protect the building so like a car can't drive through they should have these in front of the parking authority i think that would be a better choice uh All right, we're back at 8th and Arch. There we are. Starting, starting to be in Chinatown. Here we go. There's a subway. I, I don't know how a subway exists when there's Wawa's. Wawa Hoagies, let me just tell you, Wawa Hoagies, Wawa's are like a convenience store in Philly. Wawa Hoagies aren't great but subways are such shit that there shouldn't even be i mean i'm insulted that they're open to be honest with you especially with that pedophile as a uh, uh spokesperson uh i can't see my oh well you know what we're gonna just trust the camera because i can't see that's so sunny out there's some dragons and that that symbolizes the beginning of chinatown um Seems like a lot of cities. New York has a Chinatown. San Francisco has a Chinatown. I even think Pittsburgh has a Chinatown. Um, there it is, Ragoon. You ever had crab Ragoon? You know what the best thing? I was single from 2012. Oh, no, no, from 2013 to 2014. I was single. So every different relationship I got into, I got to try different Chinese food, because I'm afraid, I don't know if, you, if you're like me, but whenever, like I, I always get general Tao's or Chow's chicken, I get an egg roll and some rice and I call it a day. That's what I, that's, that was my go-to for 20 years. And then, uh, you know, we, we then every relationship, somebody was like, oh, they get something different and you would try their food and you go, oh, this is good. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what I got out of all the relationships I was in. Chinese food. Uh, I don't know when trash day is in this neighborhood, but there, it's, it's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We have people who go around the city, right? What, I think you're not allowed to put out your trash till 5 o'clock. So we have people who walk around the city and write tickets for people who have their trash out early. There's a hookah bar. I have no idea how hookah bars uh, made it through the pandemic, but they did. I guess maybe they just dispose of the things you smoke out of. I hooked once. That was stupid. I don't get it. It wasn't even... It wasn't even pot. 
Oh, this is going to be a windy video. Oh, sirens. Well, this is a firehouse right here. And this is like the main strip of Chinatown. This is, uh, what's this, 9th? 10th? This is the, uh, the, uh, firehouse. It's the, uh, House of the Dragons. This section of Philly has a different smell than other sections. It smells like, um, kind of like produce. It depends on the day. Sometimes it smells like fish. Uh, let's get out of here while they play that music. You can't have music on your videos. Here's some, if you ever see the TV show Bizarre Food with uh, Andrew Zimmerman, frozen dairy, and that's the one thing he will not eat. I'll eat anything. So yeah, it's a lot of produce. Big old bag. Oh, I wish. Big old bag of mushrooms. A lot of um. Oh, uh oh. Different shops. There's a Hello Kitty shop. This place sells a bunch of different stuff. Bonsai plants. Um, yeah. That's an awesome building. It's nothing now. This is the... Uh, when is the back street right here. One of the... This is the uh, street that was behind the Trocadero, which was a concert venue. And I was really into punk rock in the 90s. I would, I would say that's what I identify as, as a punk rocker. Uh, and the, the bands would load here. They would load in and out of here. And um, yeah, I got to go to so many concerts and hang out with so many bands. And I had, I had so much fun on this street. I probably had more fun on this street than I actually did in the concert venue. And uh, this big arch up there that says Philadelphia Chinatown. And we're back on Arch Street. Yeah, this is the old Trocadero. Started off as a theater, and then it became uh, a burlesque place, and then, uh, and then it became like a concert venue. Um, Dead Milkmen recorded an album in here. Let's see if we can. There it is. That is exclusive Trocadero footage. <clears throat> they used to have displays of like beheaded dolls and Barbie dolls and um, yeah, I, I mean, I can't tell you how many friends I met in there. My first concert, no effects with the band Snuff. My last concert, I think, was Gerard. No, no, I went to. I think a Kevin Smith podcast. It held. A, I think it held like a thousand people. There is a place around here, and it's a uh, karaoke, a karaoke bar. And I, I, I've never been there sober, and I never drove, so I don't know where it is. It's called Teriyaki Boy. Ooh, ooh, that could be offensive if you're wrong. 
but yeah, teriyaki bread. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Maybe one day I'll find it. This is the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Uh, these guys are leaving a convention. Let's see what convention it is. I don't know. How's the convention? Everybody having fun? Welcome to Philadelphia. I'm the captain. Yeah, so they have car shows, comic book conventions. Um, I don't know. All types of shit happen in here. So, today's the Philly Home Show. Oh, let's do it. Let's go to the Philly Home Show. What are we going to do? Here's a sign of the past. In the middle of the street. There's a trolley track. And uh, there isn't, there isn't a I haven't seen a trolley go down this street in years. You know what? While we're here, we're just going to do a little zip zap through the Reading Terminal Market. I think we're going to end this at City Hall. That's not anywhere near here, so don't worry about that. That guy just said, fuck it, I'm going to walk right into you. This was voted the number one market in America for something or another. I don't know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Alright. I host uh, Quizzo in Bridesburg every Wednesday night. And one of the topics this week is I'll go into all like a Philly's Philadelphia um, hot spot locations where you go, go like how much is a cheesesteak from this spot? How much is a cannoli from this spot? I don't like buying pre-made sushi. I don't know how I feel about that. Tell you what, this this place is back. This place took a, a big hit during the pandemic. If you have jewelry duty in Philadelphia, this is where you go. This is where most people go for lunch. So if you if you work as a person who does jewelry duty, I think you make twelve dollars a day, and uh, that will probably cover a sandwich. And that's about it. Maybe, maybe a soda if you're lucky. But this place is called Olympia. Gy Giro, Gyro. Oh, I don't know how to say it. Um, and look at these guys. Oh, I don't know if it's worth this, folks. Hmm. It's a good cheesesteak, but I don't know. There's other spots. I guess if you're here. Uh... But yeah, so if you do jewelry duty, you get paid, I think you get paid $12. You get a sandwich and a soda, and that's it. There he is. Right across the street. And, oh, look at this guy. This guy is like the most trusting. That thing's, he didn't even lock it up. All right. Arch Street, back before the convention center was built. Kind of a sleazy dirt ball area, a lot of dirty bookstores, uh, strip clubs, or maybe there was just one spot, but uh, my buddy, uh, Patsy, he, uh, he he was like, you know, I don't know, he was a little bit older than me, and he never saw a pair of boobs. So uh, back when I, when I was like, like 20, I always liked making people see boobs for the first time. I, I uh, so uh, I, I took Patsy to a go-go bar around here, and I said, listen, Pat, here's a stack of money. I want you to just tip the girls and have a good time. And I gave them, I don't know, like 50 or $60 in fives, and I, I didn't tell them to break it for ones. I guess that's my fault. 
But uh, yeah, we were in and out of there in uh, in about oh. I don't know, 30 seconds? And he, he, I was like, Pat, you were supposed to get ones. I didn't know that you didn't know that. I guess that's my fault. You learn from every mistake, but guess what? I got a story. Isn't that exciting? Oh, you see, this is something you see a lot in the city. We have so, buildings that are so old, they're falling apart. So what they have to do is put this netting around and preserve the building with that netting so people uh, don't don't die when something falls on them. Oh, what's this? Fire truck. Oh, is this the, these are the Chinese dragons. This is the firehouse we were at. Oh God, I wonder. Mm, who knows? So, uh, story with that is, a uh, guy was in a wheelchair, and he was trying to sit in the, uh, the handicap seat. There's a section of the bus designed just for wheelchairs, and you gotta, when you're, when you're in a wheelchair, there's like a seatbelt you gotta buckle yourself into. And I guess he didn't do it right, or whatever. I don't know exactly what happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, so he wasn't secured properly, and he, he fell and hit his head. He was hurt pretty bad, somebody on the bus told me. That's Ben Franklin. That's George Washington. And in between their hands, that's a Masonic apron, because this is the Masonic temple. Um, there you go. There's the creator, the square and compass. Oh, um, if you're a Freemason, this is one of the most beautiful uh, lodges in, in the world. Uh, there's only like five prettier ones. Um, there's a list of like top 20 things you need to see if you're a Freemason. This statue of Ben Franklin is one of them. And that's a statue of Ben Franklin with a printing press. This is the uh, Municipal Service Building. Uh, this is where the city employees work. Um, they got this goofy statue. There's our city hall. Just, just an amazing piece of architecture. Uh, this is also art right here. See all these game pieces? You see the one with the... The homeless guy sleeping on the game piece. This is an art thing. I don't know. They take old game pieces. 
and um, whatever. I don't know. So you're not, you know, it's where a lot of skateboarders go. Um, how most people hang out here. Uh, this is probably probably like the biggest hub besides Kensington of homeless people. It's usually in this section of the city. There's an iron. And uh, I guess we're near the end of Arch Street. And of course our city municipal service building. They only have a ramp one way. You got <laughs> Here's something new they got. These little spots where you can... By the way, how... Doesn't this look clean? Uh, you could use this for audio. You can use it to make a phone call. Um, free Wi-Fi. I, there's also... I, there was electrical outlets. Um, a lot of homeless people were sleeping next to them. To power up their phones. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was waiting on me. This is Dilworth Park. I don't know what. That, that woman's dressed like a wrestler. There it is. This will be open soon. The first day of spring. They should be planting the tulips. There they are. The tulips are planted. Not, not, not budding yet. Very soon. All right, I'll tell you what. We had some fun. We're going to end it at the clothespin. Philadelphia spends 1% of the revenue it gains from taxes on public art. It, it was, I don't know if there's, I think maybe there might be another city that does it now, but Philadelphia was the first city to do that. And if you go around the city of Philadelphia, there's murals everywhere. I like that I'm talking about murals. I'm not going to show you a mural. I'm going to show you a weird piece of art. You ever saw the movie Trading Places? Uh, this is in the movie Trading Places. This is the uh, uh, the clothespin. The giant clothespin. Uh, I believe it was put in in the 70s. And... Uh, Yeah, it was put in in the 70s, and uh, there it is. It's a big-ass clothesman. There's a meaning to it. There's, uh, let's see, I've heard a few things. A clothespin, if you look at it, it looks like two people hugging, embracing, and kissing. Uh, it also could represent unity of people coming together. Uh, it also looks like a big goddamn clothespin. So, you know, art is in the eye of the beholder. But I definitely see two people embracing. You know, whatever. Um, and then we got another piece of art over there. I think there was a law back in the in the 70s and the 80s. If you, if you built a building, you had to throw a piece of art in front of it. Like a, a goofy statue or whatever. So that's... That's what our cities. Although I like it. I like going around looking at this. What the fuck? Let's end this video. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. I have merch. Like, this isn't just something I say. I have t-shirts. I have, you can buy shower curtains. Get a Stewie the Chihuahua. Stewie the one-eyed Chihuahua t-shirt. Get Rick the Puppy t-shirts. Get, get a Here We Are t-shirt. Get a Ben Simmons t-shirt. You stink, and I don't like you t-shirt. Uh, if you ever come into Philadelphia and you like to smoke jazz cigarettes, this is the, the best street to do it. If you could, if you could deal with homeless pissy smells, uh, somewhere around here, you, nobody here bothers you because everyone's afraid to come down here. They think it's where uh, Batman's parents were killed. Um, merch. I have a Patreon. You want to sign up for Patreon, you get bonus videos. I also mail you a postcard. Uh, you get a postcard, and sometimes my goofy friends sign it. Sometimes, you know, it's from a location I go to. It's very exciting. Five bucks or ten bucks a month get you postcards, bonus videos, and all that fun stuff. You can sign up for three bucks, just get the bonus videos, or you can just give me a dollar. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. Uh, I have a cup of coffee every Sunday morning. Join me. Every Sunday morning I go live. 
uh, have a cup of coffee, talk about what's on top of my mind, and uh, we start our, our day. And uh, let's see, what else can I whore? Uh, history tour on April 2nd. I'll be at Penny Pack Park. Or Penny Pack? No, it'll be Penn Treaty Park doing a history tour if you live in the Fishtown area. Meet me high noon, April 2nd. Take a tour of the city. And uh, I think that's it. But do me a favor. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later.